March 2nd Noonday Prayer from St. Thomas Episcopal Church in Bethel, Connecticut. We begin with Psalm 121. I lift up my eyes to the hills, from where is my help to come? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. He will not let your foot be moved, and he who watches over you will not fall asleep. Behold, he who keeps watch over Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. For the Lord himself watches over you. The Lord is your shade at your right hand, so that the sun shall not strike you by day. Nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve you from all evil. It is He who shall keep you safe. O Lord, watch over your going out and your coming in from this time forth forevermore. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The word for this noonday prayer is from St. Paul's second letter to the Corinthians in the fifth chapter. If anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has passed away. Behold, the new has come. All this is from God, who through Christ reconciled us to himself and gave us the ministry of reconciliation. Thanks be to God. Lord have mercy, Christ have mercy, Lord have mercy. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Lord, hear our prayer and let our cry come to you. Let us pray. Blessed Savior, at this hour, you hung upon the cross, stretching out your loving arms. Grant that all the peoples of the earth may look to you and be saved for your tender mercy's sake. Amen. In peace, let us pray to the Lord, saying, Lord, have mercy. For the Holy Church of God, that it may be filled with truth and love and be found without fault at the day of your coming. We pray to you, O Lord, Lord, have mercy. For our presiding bishop, for our own bishops, for all bishops and other ministers, and for all the holy people of God, we pray to you, O Lord, Lord, have mercy. For all who fear God and believe in you, Lord Christ, that our divisions may cease, and that all may be one as you and the Father are one. We pray to you, O Lord, Lord, have mercy for the mission of the church, that in faithful witness it may preach the gospel to the ends of the earth, we pray to you, O Lord, O Lord, have mercy. For the peace of the world, that a spirit of respect and forbearance may grow within our nation and among all nations and peoples, we pray to you, O Lord, Lord, have mercy. For those in positions of public trust, that they may serve justice and promote the dignity and freedom of every person. We pray to you, O Lord, Lord have mercy. For all who live and work in our communities, especially frontline workers, we pray to you, O Lord, Lord have mercy. For a blessing upon all human labor, for the unemployed and the underpaid, 
and for the right use of the riches of creation, that the world may be free from poverty, famine, and disaster. We pray to you, O Lord, Lord have mercy. For the poor, the persecuted, the sick, and all who suffer. For refugees, prisoners, and all who are in danger, that they may be relieved and protected, we pray to you, O Lord, Lord have mercy. For our enemies and those who wish us harm, and for all whom we have injured or offended, we pray to you, O Lord, Lord have mercy. For all who have asked us to pray for them, especially those we now name in the silence of our hearts. For our families, friends, and neighbors, that being freed from anxiety, they may live in joy, peace, and health. We pray to you, O Lord, Lord, have mercy. For all who have died in the communion of your church, and those whose faith is known to you alone, that with all the saints they may have rest in that place where there is no pain or grief, but life eternal. We pray to you, O Lord, Lord, have mercy. For yours is the majesty, O Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory, now and forever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. And thank you for joining me for this noonday prayer. Please join us tomorrow at noon for Anglican Rosary and on Sunday at 9 a.m. for worship in partnership with St. Paul's Episcopal Church in Shelton. You can find links to these and other offerings from our church at www.stthomasbethel.org. Every blessing on your afternoon and evening.